Hi guys, um, this video is basically a follow on from the shorts video I done yesterday, last night. You have seen the video I put up yesterday and the video took a turn I was not expecting it to take. Um, but let me explain why it was been done the way it was done. In Ireland and other other parts of a few other parts of Europe, now not all of Europe, we uh, we do be in a nitrate ban from October to January. And as a lot of you know, animals to be in sheds from October to January. Started sheds to be filling. You have dung building up in sheds too. Dung, not as much of an issue because you can pile up the dung outside in the yard and spread it down when the season opens or when the ground dries up. But when it comes to slurry, yes, the ban is lifted, but the weather has not helped at all. We've had nothing but rain, constant rain for the last, a, you could say a couple of months, not weeks, a couple of months. Land is impossible. Like it is water logged in places, they can't even travel it. And start sheds are full. Slurry has to be out guys. And what do you do? There's two sides of it, yeah, there's people there saying yes commented there yesterday on the video that I I had to I was forcibly took down. And people saying it's illegal, it's not illegal. People saying it's inhumane. It's not inhumane. Like, everyone's saying, oh, why do you upload that video? I upload that video because it shows the struggle farm, farmers have. The nitro ban. We don't, like, there's no reason for that nitro ban. And they keep extending it every year, which puts more and more pressure on the farmers. Um, they... The way that video showed, the story been blew out over a hedge into a field. There's no other choice in the matter. There's nothing else can be done. Like, anim like animal rights crowd, I know well a few of the people that commented on that video and that reported that video was animal rights and vegans. The anti-farming community, basically. Um. Like saying, oh, you too many cattle and all this. Realistically, the reason why there's so many cattle in this country now at the minute is because of the department and the government. They put out about the dairy there years ago, and every dairy farm in the country multiplied in size. And they're saying about, oh, you have to have capacity and all this. Yeah, the capacity is there. Capacity is there for the term of the nitrate ban, the slurry ban. Once January comes, yes, you can go out, you can get, once the deadline is lifted, you can go out and you can start spreading the slurry, spreading the dung and all that. But what about when the weather doesn't play ball? What do you do then? They go out and buy 400 cattle armbands so they can swim with the saddle shed. No, you don't. You have to get the slurry out somehow. So, that's what I'm explaining this video for. I owe you an explanation for why that video was taken down yesterday and it was taken down because good few people started complaining and the comments that was coming in I wasn't passing too much remarks in the comments until I got a polite message from YouTube to remove the video so I don't trace guys farming is not simple this time of year with the story Normally, we have better weather than we're having now, but we're not. We're getting nothing but rain, constantly rain, rain, rain. There's no drying whatsoever. The land is not. The land is just pure water log and saturated. Cattle can't even be let out. The land is that bad. The cattle can't even be let out. And usually, you'd have a few cattle out the same year. There's a few places already, right, but a bit of hilly ground where they can let, let cattle out, but it's very, very rare. Um. Like realistically, if the slurry ban wasn't, it wasn't there. If that slurry ban could be got rid of, this, con this country would be different. There'd be none of that messing. 
you could be you get a few dry days there in December. You go a couple of the story if you're under pressure. Or any you know, once the weather dries up, bit frosty weather and after the frost, when it thaws off, the ground will be hard and go out spread your couple of the story, you get the tanks under control. No problem at all. But this thing October to January is the nitrate ban. Now they're talking about bringing it forward more and more and more. Like, it's going to be gone to the stage where you won't be allowed to spread the story in this country anymore. Which means the department have shot themselves in the foot. Making the dairy farmer go from milking a hunt. Like, I remember years ago. Not, not even too many years ago. Go back six, seven years ago. The biggest dairy farm would have been 100 cows, 120 cows. Now the way it's gone, if someone asked you, are you a dairy farmer? And if you said yes, how many cows are you milking? If you say 150. They look down their nose at you. The average dairy farm in this country now has been four to six hundred cows. Like, we went from the biggest farms to about 150 to the smallest farms now of about 150. I know there is smaller ones out there. They're getting on, they're, they're getting on better than the big lad. But in the long run, is it going to be worth having that many cows milking? And this is out for their boys because if the milk price falls, if there's that much milk out there, if the milk price falls, what they do. Same with the beef. The beef, beef cattle. I'm a beef farmer here on. Looking off, we're not we're not too bad. Uh, we have done all that, but I'd love to have the bulls out. Usually I'd have them out for a good bit of winter. This year I can't get them out because how wet the ground is. Which means under a lot more pressure. Plus, it's fair to hard get straw this year. Because the department again advised the tillage man to chop the straw back into the ground. And then with the year it was in it, with the bad weather, straw was a lot of the corn in this country wasn't good. So... I know when I put up the short, a lot of people were commenting there that you should have put down the video, you're just showing exactly what hardship is involved in farming. Taking out the video had nothing got to do with me in a way. I was forced to take it down. So if, from now on, if you have any problems on any of the videos I'm putting up, put in the comments, please. Don't report me. Put into the comments and we'll deal with it that way. I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Look, it's up to you if you want to subscribe and all that. I will talk to you there. Good luck.